Hello YouTube, my name is PPC's Matt, and today I want to talk about the Singularity Computer's Proteum Pump and Reservoir combination. So this specific version of the Proteum Reservoir is meant for the D5 pump, but you can also find the DDC mod kit available for this to make it work with the DDC pump if that's what you want to use. So I think first I'll just go over how to assemble one of these, and then I'll give you my thoughts and opinions on how this looks and feels, and just the overall features of it, and what I think about the pump and reservoir combo itself. So typically pump and res combos are pretty confusing just because they come with multiple parts. As you can see here, I have a pump top, a pump cover, as well as the tube reservoir itself, and then also a D5 pump. So in the description below for this video, I will uh, link you all the parts that you need to, to buy in order to make a pump and res combo um, for both the D5 and the DDC but you can also just use this reservoir as a standalone reservoir as it comes. So we'll first show you that. But you actually don't need a pump for this to work. It comes with a, both end covers, so it's a complete reservoir. As you can see, it has a multi-port bottom as well as the multi-port top. So this can be just used by itself if you don't actually want a pump and reservoir combo. But today I will assemble for you a D5 pump and reservoir combo. So in order to make this a pump and reservoir combo, you're gonna need the following items. Obviously the pump top, the pump cover, and the reservoir tube. This O-ring here comes in the pump cover box. It's not put in the actual pump top, so you're gonna to wanna to put that in there so then you don't get any leaks once you put the pump in. So that just slots in there just like that. Then you're gonna take your pump, this is just a D5 pump, any standard D5 pump will work, and you just want to carefully slide it in. As you can see, if you get it straight down, it'll slide in nicely. So the pump cover actually has two pieces. You have this nice little cover for the back of the pump actually to clean it up a little bit. So we'll put that on first, and then you just want to put your wires through the pump top. And then just slide this on over. And then you're just going to want to carefully thread it on. You don't want to strip any threads, otherwise it'll be really bad. But it's pretty simple. And once it's nice and snug, now you have your pump. And like I said, if you want to use this little top here that came with the pump top, you could just make this a standalone pump and use it just like this. But to make it a, a pump and reservoir combo, we're just gonna go like this, and we're gonna remove this bottom cover on the reservoir tube here. And that just takes off with it. And then all you gotta do is gently screw the, the reservoir tube on. And there you go. Now you have your pump and reservoir combo. And one actual nice feature about this combo is that this top ring, when you loosen it, it lets you just slide the pump top around. So depending on which way you need the ports to face, you can turn it and then just tighten the ring down again and it's locked in place. It also comes with a nice little drop down tube there for your coolant, so you don't need to buy one of those separately. Um, on top of that, you also get all of the port covers for the very many ports that come on this combo. So that's also very handy as all, not all uh, pump and reservoir combos come with all the port caps, so sometimes you need to buy them separately. So as you saw, assembling one of these was actually pretty simple. Um, it may be several parts, but like I said, I'll have them all linked below in the description so you guys can pick out exactly what you need. Um, every part comes in various different colors. You can get different color pump covers. You can get either a, um, acetal, um, this is polished acrylic, or you can get frosted acrylic. Uh, same with the tops, and then the rings also can be different colors. So you got tons of options, and honestly, I haven't seen a cleaner looking pump and res combo yet. So this is gonna be one of my favorites. I can't wait to actually put this in a system. Don't know what it's gonna go in yet, but 
this thing will look good in honestly whatever I put it in. Um, if you didn't know about Singularity Computers themselves, this, these uh, products were originally handmade by Daniel Cannon from Singularity Computers. So he actually put a lot of time and effort into these parts and he put a lot of thought into them and it really shows. Um, you get multiple ports on here. I mean, you got an in and out and then you have several more outs and obviously these would be in. But overall, it was just very well engineered. Um, it comes out really clean. As you can see, the little cover on the bottom actually helps quite a bit for cleaning everything up, uh, especially if you had sleeve cables. These aren't sleeved yet, but yeah, at the end of the day, I am very happy with this pump and rest combo, and I definitely encourage you guys all to check these out. You can find them on our website, performancepcs.com. So definitely look at these for your next project. Otherwise, I hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you next time.